Clap Shuffle. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Xander, and I am here with two of my favorite game designers, Tyler and Jeremy, Jay-Z. Uh, yeah, so today we are going to be going over constructed gameplay. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit in previous streams, but we're going to be breaking down uh, what it means to construct a deck. Uh, and to do that, we decided to go with something a little different, you know, save some of the uh, other leaders for future streams and things, but we wanted to see what both of our designers here could do with the starter decks and upgrading them maybe with a new base or just taking them as, as it was and uh, doing something new with it. Boo, everyone wants to see only the new leaders. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll have plenty of time for streams with the new leaders in the future. So I want to get that out now that we are going to be playing with Luke and Vader, but they're not going to look, you know, the same as what you've seen before. So yeah. this will be super exciting. Yeah, they have. They have cool promo versions now. Yeah, we got the cool promo versions from events, uh, so we'll be showing those off again. Uh, yeah, before we get into it, is there anything you all want to say? Any Anything you all have seen in the community that you'd like to acknowledge? Uh, I don't know. I'm on Twitter every few days, so like... Yeah, <laughs> everyone's already talking to you all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I try. Anyway. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, we'll get into it then. So. Tyler is going to sit here and uh, we're going to go through some of the cards because you've made a bigger change to your deck than Jeremy did, correct? You've, you've actually switched out the base. Yeah. Uh, we've all seen what Luke can do with yellow cards, so now I wanted to make see what Luke can do with green cards. And, uh, and uh, mostly, and we'll get into what changes I made and why. Um, so let's... Let's let's skip ahead to that because yeah. now they're all going to be ravening over the preview cards. That yeah, there might be some yet. cards they haven't seen yet in here. So let's um, uh, get into the next one. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll t I'll, I'll I'll briefly go over why I changed the colors. Uh, basically, I wanted access to specific green cards for my deck, uh, and in order to play those green cards, I can't play the yellow cards. Uh, specifically, I wanted a a cheap, high statted uh, unit that can just brawl really well. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted something to protect my space lane, and I wanted resupply. Uh, and then home one kind of came for free because we're already playing basically a control deck. Uh, so I, we'll, we'll see how the, the matchup plays out. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's get into some of these, uh, these cards then specifically. So the first three we have are Battlefield Marine, Bright Hope, and Resupply. Uh, yeah, so these are basically the the green cards um, that I was looking for. Um, Bright Hope is here to protect my space lane. Uh, Resupply is here to get me to my late cards faster. Uh, Battlefield Marine is a good card, and and we can highlight it extra because nobody's seen it yet today or at all. Um, it is very it's 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 surprisingly good. It is deceptively good for a card with no text on it. Yeah. Uh, but a 2 cost 3-3 three, three Rebel is going to go a long way in a lot of decks. Uh, it's going to help me attack Vader's base quickly. It's going to help me de uh, defeat enemy units and control the board. And I only have to pay two resources, and I don't have to jump through any hoops to do it. Yeah. Uh, so he's just there to be a cheap, efficient body. Um, and that's important because uh, when you're deck building, there's a, a lot of things you have to juggle to make sure, oh, can my deck handle this? Does it have enough of why, uh, et cetera, right? So when I built this deck, uh, I asked myself a series of questions of, uh, I need to make sure this category is fulfilled, uh, and what are the cards that are going to the category? So uh, we'll start off with, um, what, are, what are the power units that I wanted? Basically, what's my, what's my deck's win condition? Uh, and the short answer is, uh, the f force, force users, I hear Force users are pretty good. Uh, so we started with just some of the best uh, powerful heroic cards that I could put in a Luke deck at all. Uh, so we get, we get Yoda, we get Kanan, we get Obi-Wan. Um, and we get uh, Luke, and we get a new, a new exciting Luke unit. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to show off uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Uh, he is the top end of a blue hero deck. Uh, he is designed to show up. Stabilize the board and immediately get you back in the game. Uh, that's his job, and he's here. He's here to do it. Uh, you'll notice all three of these power cards, all three of these force users, effectively restore. Um, this deck doesn't have much in the way of Sentinel, but it does have Restore, which is enough of a healing mechanic on the base that your opponent can't really let those units survive for very long. Um, so they kind of have Sentinel a little bit if you squint. Um, <laughs> And then obviously, when Luke shows up, he defeats a unit. When Yoda dies, he draws a card. 
so there's a lot of just extra utility out of these out of these units. Um, so we started with the power units. The power units were uh, Yoda and Luke, especially with Kanan kind of filling in the mid, mm -hmm. the middle. Uh, but you can't have a deck without cheap cards. It doesn't matter if you're a control deck or an aggro deck or a mid range deck. Doesn't matter. You need cheap cards in your deck. Uh, and so the next question was, what cheap cards am I going to play? Uh, so R2D2 and C3PO are some of the best cheap cards I can play, especially if I'm not trying to win the game quickly. Uh, and Battlefield Marine obviously was my go-to green card to fill out that, that cheap turn one play option. Um, additionally, we have uh, 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 a transition into the next category, which was, how am I going to protect my space lane or uh, apply pressure in the space lane? Yeah. Um, you can't let the space lane be ignored. Mm -hmm. um, I specifically wanted Bright Hope in this deck primarily as a Space Sentinel. Um, and Restored Arc 170 is one of the better heroic two-cost units uh, in Vigilance, and it is also a Space Unit. So uh, my, space, my Space Force for the deck is basically Restored Arc 170 into Wing Leader into Bright Hope with Home 1, you know, filling, uh, closing out the end. Um, and hopefully those will be enough to make sure that I'm participating in space and uh, Jeremy can't run away with the game if Jeremy is trying to pressure me in space. Maybe uh, Jeremy went no space. He was feeling space. Jeremy went no space? I, I don't know, maybe. We'll, we'll talk if, about his deck in a little if, bit. If he did, then this Bright Hope play is going to look a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, that filled out basically all of my, uh, the, the bulk of my, the core of my units. Um, but also, this is a control deck for all intents and purposes, so I need control cards. Uh, we added Entrenched and Takedown as versatile or very, very efficient uh, ways to control the board. Um, uh, we, kept a couple we kept a couple Vanquishes just to, to make sure I had a top end in case of trouble. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly it was uh, just put in some, some e e efficient interaction in these two, uh, and because so many of my power cards are force users. I really got to lean into the force synergy, uh, which means it binds all things in Jedi lightsaber. Uh, both of these are Ooh. vigilant cards that reward you for having force units. Um, the event can be incredibly swingy when your opponent thinks they're about to defeat Yoda, and it turns out Yoda was fine all along and your unit's <laughs> dead. Uh, Jedi lightsaber can turn any force user into just an absolute monster. Uh, this is also a new card that we're previewing. Uh, previewing today. Um, and so between the lightsaber and the takedown and the entrenched and the it binds all things and the vanquishes, that should be enough ways to interact with my opponent's units uh, or buff my own units to make sure that I'm consistently getting my incremental advantage. Um, now, that said, this is still a game where we're here to have fun. Uh, and what what's the point of making a deck if you don't get to have a little bit of fun sometimes? So I included a, a few fun of one ofs, uh, as I like to call them. Uh, so we got Dodonna, just, you know, he's probably not going to be that good, but every once in a while he'll be great. Yeah. Uh, we got Luke's lightsaber, same deal. This deck does have uh, Luke leader and the Luke unit in it, um, but it's not really like leaning in. They're just more of tools to my strategy rather than the centerpiece of my strategy. So I only am including one. Uh, and Agent Callus. You know, every once in a while he'll show up, he'll ambush some people, and then he'll draw me some cards. Uh, and he's just useful. He's never great, and he's always useful. Uh, yeah. So we, we just threw him in here for fun. Love it. So, the deck sounds real good. Uh, but Jeremy, I'm sure you have an answer across here. I'm sure you, you no. know, no. No, no answers across the board? Jeremy's, just playing, playing. Jeremy's just playing the regular, uh, the regular starter deck. <laughs> well, I know that we did do, you did do something a little bit different, though, for this deck, uh, which I believe is you kept it with, you know, command, aggression, villainy, but you went and just upgraded it with different cards that we've already revealed, uh, just making it a better version of what it was, you know, showing that these starter decks, you can just upgrade them with a couple booster packs and maybe get something a little different, a little fun, um, and a little more powerful out of it, so... Yeah, is there anything you want to say about yours? We can show the deck list now as well. Uh, so yeah, some minimal changes. It's just a Vader deck with mostly taking some extra copies that are in there and getting uh, two or three copies. And so one or two. Uh, added a few uh, new cards that aren't in the Vader deck, uh, like Fallen Lightsabers to uh, buff up Vader. And then um, we got like Emperor's Royal Guard, get a little more potentially Sentinel to help hold the ground down. So as you have uh, an official in play, being Sentinel. 
Uh, I've got three copies of Emperor Palpatine in there, so sometimes I'll get an additional hit point as well. So it's great value. Mm. And also put in Asian Cows, um, like Tyler. It's just a really good card that um, can definitely gives you some card advantage. Um, this game can, can be very important if it goes along. I know Tyler has kind of a control deck. Mine can kind of be a control deck as well. It, it can play late game. Uh, it, can, it can also be aggressive if need be. Um, but then card advantage can be really nice to be able to just uh, have Callus out there and uh, draw some few cards here or there with uh, unique human ties. And then for the most part, yeah, just additional copies. So it's, it's uh, not too, too, too different from the, the stock starter deck, but just a few extra copies and a few new cards just to spice it up. Cool. All right. Well, we did, it looks like we had a quick error here. So the, de uh, the base is not what you had put submitted, on there. yeah. Yeah, so we don't have that, unfortunately. So we'll be playing with command center base still. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll roll with it. Uh, but his, keep in oh. mind that Jeremy at his best, well, unless, do you know where that? Is that supposed to be the, um, the ambush base? Yeah. Yes. I might have one. Oh, we might have one. Oh, <laughs> have one. All right, so we'll do a quick change. Uh, so that way you can see, you know, Jeremy at his best here. We don't want no handicaps for you. We don't want to, you know, tie your hand behind your back or anything. Oh, uh, nope. Nope. All right, never mind. So I he did. will be playing with Command Center, <laughs> unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and get started. If there's any questions in the chat, um, and we'll have you, uh, you just shuffled up already. So let's get, uh, get to rolling, and we can answer questions as you get started. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, who's going first? <laughs> um, um, choose randomly. Yep. Choose, oh, chat, who do you want to go first? There's <laughs> there you go, oh, yeah, there you go, decide. chat can decide. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, some, draw some cards. Uh, yeah, so let's see, who, who do we have? Um, do you want to answer the questions first? Yeah, let's answer some of those questions. So is Luke rare or legendary? What do you think? What do you think? Legendary. He's Luke Skywalker. He's Luke Skywalker. Yeah, right? come yeah, on. He's the main character right of the movie. The yeah. Yeah. Uh, Luke's legendary. He's big and powerful and spicy and hopefully very desirable. Ooh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of Jeremy's going first. Sorry, Tyler. Oh, so uh, I get outvoted. That's right. Yep. It's 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 I'll take here, it. So I'll take it. We'll go with that. Um, we also have, so how viable do you find one of cards in your decks? Uh, since you said you have your one of fun ofs. Uh, there. Uh, I actually am a big fan of toolbox decks. Um, Especially if I'm not trying to do a very focused linear strategy, if I'm trying to be in any way reactive, uh, I actually really like having a bunch of two ofs or a bunch of one ofs of this is a card that I might need one in 10 games, uh, but I don't need in most games um, because the, the, the difference between I have a 0% chance to draw the card and I have a 5% chance to draw a card is massive. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'll usually try to sprinkle a, handful, a small handful of one ofs in my deck specifically to be like, this is a card I might need in this very specific situation, but in most games I won't need it. Uh, because the opportunity cost is just, it's a resource, right? Yeah. If I only have one Dodonna and this isn't the game for Dodonna, great, he's a resource. I'm not drawing three Dodonnas that are dead cards. Mm -hmm. And also if I need to, you know, or Agent Callus, if I really need Agent Callus in this matchup, you know, if I can't draw him at all, that is terrible. Uh, but so I have uh, a a callus in there yeah. somewhere, um, and if I don't need callus, he's just a resource and he's not clogging up my deck. Exactly. At least you have the chance and you have somewhere to put him if uh, if all else fails. And so yeah, we also have this is probably the first time that we've had you know the unit card in that leader's deck on stream. Yeah, that's probably true, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I did talk about it a few months ago, yeah. so now I'm putting my money where my mouth yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> so let's chat about that. For anybody who has not like heard about the uniqueness rule, we can just breeze over that real quick so people understand uh, what's going on. Yeah, so the, the, the quick summary of the uniqueness rule, uh, cards are determined to be... Uh, a, a, a card is unique if it has, has the little diamond symbol on it, um, and it uh, while it's in play, you can only have one copy. Now, uh, the difference is that Uniqueness is determined by the title and the subtitle combined. So Luke Skywalker Faithful Friend, which is what my leader is, and Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, which is what the unit is, uh, are considered to be two different unique characters in Star Wars. Um, it's kind of an ex extension of the, the Anakin Vader thing, right? Um, but more importantly, it makes sure that the gameplay is good. Uh, 
Luke Skywalker leader would be significantly worse if he couldn't play this very strong Luke Skywalker unit in his deck, and vice versa, Luke Skywalker unit would be much worse if I couldn't play him in a Luke Skywalker leader deck. Mm -hmm. um, and we want people to be able to, we don't want uh, the names of cards to significantly, uh, in the core rules, uh, alter which, car which characters get to be good or weak. Um, and also, if I am a fan of Luke Skywalker, which I am, I get to play all my Luke Skywalkers and that's fun. Um, a lot of characters do synergize with themselves because they have similar play patterns because, you know, when a character is a certain way and you depict them in a thematic way, then they're going to... Different versions will look similar a lot of the time. Um, that's somewhat intentional uh, because we want the characters to feel like them. Uh, and also, it can be fun to be like, uh, yes, here's this Luke, and then you defeated this Luke, but now this other Luke is out because you can't keep a good Jedi down. <laughs> Cool. So, before we get started, I will say that we are playing with proxy cards again. Uh, these are not the real cards or anything, so you might notice like some small blemishes, different stuff like that. No, uh, my cards are perfect. Uh, Tyler's cards are perfect. I ch double checked them beforehand. Uh, we did. I did double check sleeves. You know, this is a tournament regulation. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we can't let anybody there's, get off the hook because there's oh, prizes on the line. Yeah, is there? Prizes on the line. <laughs> Respect and admiration of those watching at home. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and get started. It looks like uh, oh, we have one more, which is. For Jeremy, so do you prefer 16 three ofs and one two of, or a few more two ofs? How many cards are allowed in the sideboard? Uh, I can answer the cards in the sideboard is 10, correct? Yeah. And so what do you feel about the other, though? Um, it depends on the deck. Um, sometimes it's raise you one or the other. Um, like Tyler mentioned, sometimes it's nice to have a little more variety. Uh, you can sometimes surprise your opponent by just having cards out of nowhere that they didn't expect. Like, sometimes you know, one of them can be like that, where it's great in a certain matchup, not so great in another matchup, but you can just resource it then if it's not that great, since you can resource any card in your hand. So, so one of those can be a little bit more valuable in this game, since you can always just resource it if it doesn't work that well in this matchup. Uh, but sometimes it's, it's great, and yeah, sometimes it's a surprise factor. It can, can turn a game around. Uh, so I think it really depends on the deck, but I definitely do prefer more consistency, so I probably urge it more towards the three of us. Fair. All right. That looks like the only question we have before we get started. We'll have some other questions we can answer as we get going, but... Let's, uh, let's open this up. I did take a mulligan, so time to right. resource. All right. And do you all want to, I mean, one at a time, put your hand out to let the camera, the top-down camera see what you have in hand so we can see what you're working with, to start at least? Yeah, don't let Jeremy <laughs> see. Yeah, and there we go. Okay, Jeremy can show now. Tyler can Jeremy's turn. <laughs> yep. All right, now you know. All right. Nobody gets to see what my resources are, though. Ah, you fool. You have ground units. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Take the initiative. Great. Let's uh, keep going. All right, so draw two. Cards. Man, I'm going to look like such a chump with these bright hopes if Jeremy just has no space units. See, now you have me terrified. <laughs> All right, so yeah, make sure uh, as you play to you know talk through your moves as well. That way people who are new to the game that might be joining us can see what's going on, what decisions you might be making. So how do we do that with the resources? The resources, that one, don't talk through. Okay, you know, I was going to say, because like, like, that's yeah. a, a big a big part of my strategy here. Is we could talk about what that do I not want? Yeah. Another stream of do oh, a whole stream actually, just about Actually, and also at the end of the game, we just turn up all our resources and be like, these are the cards I didn't use. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, start us off. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, Super laser technician. It's always nice to try to get some ramp going, especially with Vader coming out at 7. It's nice to bring him a little bit sooner since he has a, such a big impact when he does get deployed. Uh, I think I can just get a clean two for one if Luke if I use Luke's ability. So here's a three three on the ground. Nice. Alright. Yeah, that's definitely uh, Come at me, annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I hit your base. Boop. Uh, before any tricks. Shields up. Shields up on shields the three up. three. Alright, so paying one for shield in the battlefield marine. Nice. I'll take initiative. I'll shoot you in space and heal one with my spaceship. With a spaceship, restore one. That's going to heal me like five damage in, in this game. Oh, yeah. I told you, Jeremy built no <laughs> space units. He went all ground this time. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Draw two. See, now I have to decide if you're totally trying to bluff me or not I, with I, this stupid space lane thing. Yeah. Could be, or he, you know, drops a Super Star Destroyer out there somewhere. Oh, that's inevitable. Yeah, that's for happening. sure. One hundred percent, that's happening. 
I think, I think I'm not going to need this card. Uh, we have two damage on the command center. And one on echo base. And one on echo base. How problematic would it be for the stream if we just agreed that that was the 25 health damage base? Uh, probably a problem, yeah, okay. unfortunately. All right. We'll just ret retroactively say... Delete health on base. Hey, I'm okay <laughs> with that because that just gets me closer to winning. You there know? you go. Yeah, That's no, you secret. don't have to worry about that extra ambush in there. No, 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 no. He yeah, can have the ambush. Yeah, I got yeah. five damage on his base. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Start us off. You want a resource? I do, <laughs> yes. Bonk. All right, so... Uh, super laser tech into the shield. Uh, Battlefield Marine is going to eat the, sno the sn snow trooper before anything, any shenanigans happen. No, I do have a space unit. Oh, no! There he is. Oh, I look like a fool now. <laughs> All right. Well, you defeated my one restore unit, so here's another one. Yoda's on the ground. Yoda, no. Bye-bye, uh, Marine. Uh, Yoda has a shield. Because we like shields here. No shield. You got it. Um, to answer the question in the chat about the echo base art, we'll uh, we'll get it out to the community. Make sure you can get a close up view of it um, out after the game. Maybe not here on the stream, but we'll get it out there. Ooh. 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 I'm going to show you two of my resources at the end of the game, and oh. you're going to see why I'm cringing over here. I I'm ready. Yoda play feels nice though. Yoda is always going to feel all right. Feel better. I'm on five, Jeremy's on six. Both leaders are coming out next turn. Mm. So Jeremy's at six, that's, that's dangerous. Starts off. Uh. My favorite bright hope that Stephanie annoying, so we'll get in there th for three. <laughs> uh, you can just put two of those damage on your own base, though. Because Yoda has restore. <sighs> so attacks for two and restores two. Yeah. Good swing. Yeah. 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 That interceptor did two damage to Jeremy's base. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> it's just a little friendly fire. Yeah, Didn't right. know where he's going. I'll do a resupply. <laughs> we don't like that. All right. I'm going to pass without claiming. Passing, really? Yeah. Come at me, Vader. I see you. <laughs> I see you, seven resources. Seven resource, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what you have. It's going to double side. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he is. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. You can kill Yoda, that's fine. <laughs> so what are you thinking right now, Jeremy? Give the, give the people watching, you know, maybe some of your thoughts, hopes, dreams, all of the above for this game. <laughs> well, I didn't really look at his deck lists. I probably should have. I heard him talking about a few things, but... Um, here you go. Here you go. Stream. Ooh. Read them and weep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tiffany probably has a ground here. He wants to play and shield up with Luke, so he wants me to attack. And that way, he can't attack that ground here and kill before it's time to shield it. Mm Oh. I'm in the rush. a guard out there, so I'll Ooh. protect Vader. Cool story, bro. Still passing? Still passing. Still passing. 
If Vader doesn't attack, then that's a net win for me. Yeah, you're feeling good. If Vader doesn't attack, then you can bring out Luke next turn. Be fine. And then he can play Vader's lightsaber and just destroy Yeah, him. then <laughs> Luke's gone anyway, and it was worth a shot, though. My whole strategy has to revolve around how do I deal with Vader. And then we can get into the rest of the game. Yeah. And Vader out a turn before Luke is... Two right? turns? Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn. One, yeah, one. Because you wrenched twice. Turn, yeah. if it, that feels good. Not for me. No, I mean, that feels good on this side of the board, I guess. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll attack Yoda and do all two first. Great, knock out the shield. Yoda takes five damage. You take two back. Yoda dies. I draw a card. Yay! Is we, it good? We did get a question about okay. leaders, though. And yeah. So can you go into the logic on deciding when leaders deploy um, and just their costs and everything uh, and how you decide that while you're playtesting? Uh, they asked because of leaders like Jin compared to Boba Fett when they have the same stats on them um, and why Jin deploys a turn later. Or maybe not a turn, but a resource later. Uh, I'm happy to talk about it. Jeremy, do you, you want to okay. jump in first? Okay. Um, first, I'm going to play Yoda, because he was in play, so I couldn't play another one. Um, he's here now. Oh, uh, I'm going to give him a shield. Uh, so to answer the question, the, um, the basic logic is we want a variety of costs for our leaders. Mm -hmm. We don't want all our leaders to show up at the same time. Um, and we want the early leaders to have noticeably smaller stats than the later leaders because they come out earlier. The idea is if I get two attacks in with this leader before this other leader even shows up, then the leader who shows up later should be able to over compensate right, mm -hmm. by defeating the small leader and then still being around to hit him a bunch. Yeah. Um, that said, leader balance is, a, is a, 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 a balancing act of like six things. Uh, if a leader has a really, really strong front side ability, then that's a lot of where their power gets to go, and that means that their unit is going to be slightly worse, and vice versa. Uh, if we want a leader to have a really strong uh, deployed side, uh, then that means they, they should have a much weaker front side. Um, uh, that's part of the logic behind Boba Fett specifically, uh, is that we evaluated that his front side was, in comparison to the other leaders, harder to use. Uh, there's a condition you have to meet um, Getting a resource isn't inherently its own advantage. You need something to do with that resource. Mm -hmm. Like the number of times that I've readied a resource and then been like, that's cool. I have nothing to play with it. I guess it didn't matter that I had to, got to ready a resource. Mm -hmm. um, and so Boba Fett gets to have a bigger body because his, his resource readying is less directly effective than someone like Jin, who just always does the thing, and the thing that she does is always strong. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, that's in, and then that's balanced against the early leaders should be smaller and the later leaders should be bigger to compensate for how much you have to wait for them. Uh, you took the initiative, right? Yes. Great. We're done. We are done here. Good answer. I don't know, man. I got to resource one of these cards. Ooh. Oh, man. That's tough. People are going to be in I don't trouble. know which one I'm supposed to... Use yeah. against because I, mean, I need to the defeat chat Vader. Who you should resource. Go for it. You can flash it out to the chat and see who who do you all think? Uh, no, you don't want to leave it up to chance. I mean, there? I mean, I can, but like you don't have to listen to him. But you can at least get some input. Then I don't know. Like I think it, I think it's supposed to be this one, but I'm going to regret it later. Because because yeah. I'm going to need it in like two cool. turns when Palpatine shows up. Put that one on the up. top so they can see what it is. Because I don't know if you, you can I'm gonna see. Need, I'm going to need this one for when Palpatine shows up, probably. Um, but I super don't want it right now. Uh, these two are good together, but I don't know if they'll actually do anything with Vader in play. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. I think I'm gonna resource this one. Oh, you want to show everybody before you do it, just so they I'm resource this are one. Where? Because until Vader's in play, that card is basically not. Or while the Vader is in play, that card's basically not playable. All right, good. that's it. That's all, all right. I got. Um, let me think. Um, I'm playing the long game here. I still got 27 health on my base. 27, 26, we've got time. Yep, someone agreed with you. Ryan T. Ryan T agreed? Yeah. Oh, somebody said the, a different one, though. Artificery. Disagreed. 
Well, at least we're all on the same On the same track, yeah. All right, Vader. What you got? Is Yoda going to die again? He seems to be good at that. Um, you know, the secret is if I don't play units, mm -hmm. then he doesn't have a reason to play Palpatine. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to win without units, yeah, but... I don't know what your game plan is then otherwise. <laughs> Check for three. Haha. One. Um, two, to answer three. a question in the chat, I don't believe that either one of these decks have sideboards today, correct? Oh, yeah. We're not playing in a tournament. Yeah, no sideboards today. Um, that Sentinel's a problem. You know that? That Sentinel's a problem. That's why he's there. Vader attacks Luke, then Luke dies. So we can't be having that. Here's a blind C-3PO. <laughs> blind C-3PO says two. We whiffed. Ooh, well at least you know. At least I know. It's right. a good card too. Is it? It is. All right. I don't have it, but. Yeah, it's, I, it's fun. I think people will be <laughs> If excited. I can survive yeah, to next turn, it'll yeah. be good. <laughs> First, I gotta survive to the next turn. Here you go, chat. That's the one. Yeah. We're really relying on them to recognize the art on a lot of these yeah. reveals. That's all right. Take your base. You got it. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, you cannot have other bases in your sideboard, Andrew Mitchell, correct? I'm going to pass without claiming. I just want confirmation before. Yes, I that's that. Yes, no bases in your sideboard. I don't or know leaders. Or right. leaders. Or yeah. leaders. No bases or leaders. Silly. Yep. That's the whole point of a base and a leader. Uh, uh, base, up to, uh, base health update. Uh, Echo base has 21, 21 and command center has 26. <laughs> they said they recognized the card off the top. They got the art. They're ready that's to That's what run. I assume. Royal guard. Well, it doesn't sentinel right now. You have five resources left. All right. Well, Vader does still have to attack Yoda. If I attack, so I've been holding off on attacking with Yoda because I don't want Yoda to lose the shield into the cell block card. But if I Attack with Yoda. If I do that, and Yoda puts damage on the cell block guard, loses the shield. Vader can't defeat Yoda without directly attacking him. Because the two damage will just go on Yoda and Yoda will still be alive. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's still fine. And then you still get a heal. I do get the heal, which is nice. Yeah. I think I, think I need to do that. Because I can't keep waiting. Um, and also, losing out on a restore 2 would be a problem. So Yoda punches your guard. I feel like the Emperor is inevitable. Not this round, at least. That's not what inevitable means. <laughs> yeah. Inevitable means yeah. in the future. <laughs> at, least, at least, you know, you can feel safe for a couple minutes. Doesn't that feel nice? Think on the bright side. It's yeah. just a couple minutes. Well, it doesn't. See, the problem is as soon as Vader goes away, then the Palpatine, then the Palpatine comes yeah. out and you still have that same issue you're already in. It's okay, though. I have a card to deal with Palpatine. I don't have a card to deal yeah, with Vader. Vader is just a monster. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to overwhelm me, firepower me? I wish. Oh, <laughs> you dodged that bullet. Super laser tag. We'll put fire Yoda. That'll do it. Yoda, Yoda dead. I'm going to draw this card that I looked at. Hey! Good job, Yoda. Let's nice do it. Work. Let's Good do work. it. Let's do it. All three copies. Yeah. Here's Wing Leader. Wing Leader is going to buff. C-3PO. Space. Yep, he's in space. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding. He he had to go to ground to give C-3PO the yeah, XP, and now he goes He's just swinging space. by on his way up. He just swings by on his way up. Uh, yeah, buff 3PO. <laughs> buff 3PO. 
He's a three six. Yeah, that that is nice. Man, that cell block guard having one health is a huge problem. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Wouldn't it be funny if Vader spent his whole attack just to defeat C3PO? I think would. he should. Because he, he, if he attacks regular and he does the two damage to the wing leader, 3PO lives. That's true. Fun fact. Well, before you give it a shield, I'll hit your base for five and shoot No, it but it was so good. Uh, five whole damage. Yikes. All right. Give me that initiative. My turn. I want to go first this time. I'll pass. I'm mad that Vader is still alive. Let's draw some cards. And put you into my resources. Because we're going to keep resourcing probably to 10 at least. So is there a reason you did not bring Luke out? There like sure that. is a reason let's, I didn't bring Luke yeah, out. Yeah, talk us through that. Yeah, Vader's there. If I yeah. put Luke out, Vader, Luke dies. Luke dies. OK, so that's, um, that's the whole thing. My game plan to win here is to defeat Jeremy's leader is for Jeremy to not have a leader and for me to have a leader. That's my game plan. That's a good game plan. Um, until Vader's dead, Luke is not safe. Uh, which of course means I'm going to play Luke and then Palpatine will show up and he'll die. But that's yeah. a separate problem. That's, yeah. <laughs> problem for a different <laughs> that's, round, hopefully. That's a, that's a problem for future Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Present Tyler has to deal with Vader first. All right, you ready? Yep. Great. C-3PO attacks Darth Vader. Uh, on attack, I'm going to name two. That was Sentinel. C-3PO yep. attacks your Sentinel. There you go. <laughs> Sentinel's gone. <laughs> on attack, I'm going to name three. And I'm going to miss. See, I should have done the thing. <laughs> Dang it, you have the Sentinel. Oh, you know, people have heard your game plan with Luke, and uh, we got a lot of people saying future Tyler might be sad. Listen, future Tyler can have whatever emotions he wants. <laughs> That's a future Tyler <laughs> That's problem. That's a future Tyler so, problem. Yeah. <laughs> Chipping away in space. Yeah, I hear it's a legitimate strategy. Um, these fives are actually a ten, and then we're gonna add some things. Okay, so we're at fifteen health now. I'm gonna pay four resources. We're gonna play takedown on that royal guard. Mm. Gotta get, gotta get dudes off the board. I am losing the long game here, and the short game. I think it's just losing. <laughs> I think that's point. just yeah. losing the game. <laughs> <laughs> that cell block guard's really, really, really been a real problem. Block, he blocked five, five damage. Yeah, yeah. Someone asked, "What is the average length of a game for unlimited?" I think we talked about this a little bit before, but what would you say, just ballpark estimate for people? We're going a little long today because you are talking through moves, and you know. We're also both playing slow decks. Yep. Um, I would say the average length of a game is ten to twenty minutes. 10 to 20 minutes. There you go. Unless I'm playing. And then it's, and then it's 20 Double to 30 Double it, minutes. so don't play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm at 15. Jeremy's at 26. I'm doing palace out. Ooh. Do the ambush. Okay. Buff 3 PO three is no longer. I'll trigger the draw code. You got it. I will pass without claiming. Mm. <laughs> How many cards have been hand? Four. And three resources. And one leader. Hmm. I'll take an issue. Yeah, Speaking let's go. Look All at that. Right. Look at that. Darth Vader didn't attack. I bluffed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. Um, I don't think this card matters. Okay, what are we sitting at resource-wise on each side? Uh, eight and nine? Eight yep. and nine. But Jeremy's board state is... Pretty nice. And mine is terrible. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's not a board much. Uh, there mine is categorically terrible. <laughs> oh, coming 
for three. You got it. Right. Twelve health left on uh, Tyler's Here's base. home one. Home one gets Yoda back. Uh, home one says, when I play it, I play a hero unit from my discard pal for three less resources. So this three cost Yoda is free. Free Yoda. Free Yoda is the best Yoda. Yes. Take your base for four. I'll see. Um, all the play loot. There he is. I cannot wait any longer. But does he have what it takes to take out his own son here? Honestly, at this point, if Vader attacks Luke, he's not attacking my base, and that is an upside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your eight health left on your base. Uh, five, ten, eight health left on my base. Yeah, that's what we get. Yeah. Do it. Hit your base and throw two at Luke. Throw two at Luke. You're down to two health or three health. Three health. So, if I attack, I cannot kill Vader. Jeremy takes the initiative and I lose. So, I have to take the initiative. Uh, is that true? Wait, yes. Uh, home one gives Luke restore one, which does matter. Yes. But restore one is not enough. So, I take the initiative. I think I am in trouble. <laughs> yeah, let's do... Show me Palpatine, baby. So he wants, so we got. There he is, <laughs> there, there he is. is. Uh, Luke dies and home one takes one? Yoda takes one? Let's do home one. Home one. Nice. You were scared of him the whole game, and you were right to be. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, he's a scary guy. Mm, let's go ahead and force troll for Yoda. Sure, I'm going to drop two cards for that one. Yes. I think your mic might have fell off. Sure did. <laughs> let's fix it. Boop. All right, I don't need all these cards, so we're going to resource one of them. Uh, home one does not put me outside of lethal range. That's mm -hmm. awkward. But you got to do what you got to do. Home one defeats your TIE fighter, heals two damage from my base, and then I death by choose your favorite unique character. <laughs> Vader. Vader it is. Vader does it. Um, sure, join me. All right. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that was good rough. Game. That was rough. That I'm was... just going to show you this. I'm just going to show you the, these bright hopes right there. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's they do were a there. Recap. They were there. They were th I resourced the right them on turn. The turny, the turn Jeremy played the interceptor, I resourced my second bright hope. Oh, uh, man. Because I wanted two takedowns instead, and that was the mistake. Two takedowns and didn't get to use. Well, you used one, right? I used one. Used one. Nice. I was. This was. This was targeted at Vader the whole game, and Vader never got to five health. Yeah. So. Were you planning around a takedown? Yeah. Yeah. You were. You were looking at. It, you're like. I heard him oh, mention takedown because yeah, it's a great card. So. Yeah. Imagine there'd be three copies in there. And that's why I want to make sure you get a Sentinel out there to protect Vader. So, make it much tougher to go after him. Since yeah, Vader has a, a big impact if he can survive. So, I was hoping to take Vader's lightsaber, but, I guess I didn't need it. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what Palpatine's for. Well, you won, so is there anything you still would have done differently, though? You know, yeah, knowing I mean, the matchup, knowing the deck list. Going into game two, what, are your would, what would be your thoughts? I think we're only going to be playing one game today, but what would you be thinking about? What would you be planning around? Uh, I think I probably have to be the aggressor. You know, I'm seeing lots of big cost units in it, too. lots of restore. I'm not sure if I could play the long game. I imagine he would be able to get to Vader. That game is lucky to protect Vader, but if I can't, I think, yeah, he's got, like, home ones and stuff in there that just can... Be really tough for me to take care of, so I have overwhelming barrage in there, but that's just one card to 
try to fight back. So I think I had to be maybe a little more aggressive. Maybe I shouldn't have killed Yoda, the first Yoda there. Maybe I should have gone right to base right away. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking it might be a long game that restored to might add up quite a bit. So I'll knock Yoda out while I could. But seeing how that game went, seeing his deck a little more, maybe I should go to the base, be aggressive, and make him stop me. There you go. I'm trying to remember. I think these were my resources. Okay. I, I accidentally swiped, sw swept them all up. So um, besides resource mistakes, what, what were you feeling after this? I mean, that was that was what d decided the game for me uh, mm -hmm. was not having the bright hope because, um, and that was the 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 big miss is. It wasn't just that I had the bright hope to stop the tie interceptor. It was that bright hope. If I had it at that moment, it would have the play pattern would have been. Uh, a, a knock off the shield, become a resource, and then I eat the the tie the the um, snow trooper. The snow trooper, mm -hmm. and then the tie interceptor shows up and kills my spaceship. Yep. And then I play bright hope and pick up my two, two my three three with two damage on it. Yeah. And then now I have a fresh three three with it that isn't about to die to Vader's ping. Yeah. Um, so that would have been a huge, huge. swing in the game. Yeah. Like I would have had a space sentinel that would have saved me fifteen damage for yeah. like twelve damage on my base. It also would have saved my unit from Vader's ping, yep. which means now I have a whole brand new unit with a shield, right, when I replay it. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I ended up with a hand of two takedowns of Vanquish and Yoda, and it binds all things, and I had a Yoda in play, so I couldn't play a unit. This was my hand with a Yoda in play. Oh, yeah. So, like, the following round. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just couldn't play a unit. Mm -hmm. Until Yoda was dead. So it makes sense why you're passing over. And yeah, over yeah. I was passing so Yoda down. could be defeated, so I could play a new Yoda. Yeah, and also to try to get damage onto Vader, so I could take it down. Exactly. Um, so yeah, if I had not resourced the second Bright Hope, huge, wildly different game. Yeah. Well, I will say, I just got a uh, message from Casey behind the scenes that said oh. we do have time to play one more. If you both would be interested Let's in, you know, rematch, rematch right now. You just talk to him. <laughs> no, Jeremy's like, no, got to quit while quill, 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 he's ahead. All right. Let's uh, run it back. All right. I'll clean up a little bit here. See, but here's the secret is what's going to happen is Jeremy's going to beat me again. Yeah. Then. I made you both talk <laughs> through your strategies so that way yeah. you both know. Now we both know what we're doing. Yeah. My strategy feels a little more... See, now I'm not going to resource the Bright Hope and he's just not going to play any space units. I'm going to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be like, we learned from our mistake with the Bright Hope. It'll be so good. Meta gaming a little bit. That's okay. No, that's normal in a casual game like this. Yeah, exactly. Listen, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back real quick and then change my deck to beat Jeremy's deck specifically. <laughs> <laughs> yes, getting a lot of Casey. Uh, cheers in there, which, good. She she deserves, deserves them it. for letting us to play again and all the hard work she does behind the camera. And we have Alex behind the camera today, too. For her first time, woo! Yay! All right. So, we, are you ready to rock? Honestly? I don't know, it depends on my opening hand. All right, let's see it. I wish I had my other base. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can we print one out real quick? I don't think we can print one, but do we want it to start at 25? Yeah. Just pretend we have we it. Just, we just, we know what it does. Yeah. yeah, we'll pretend that we have it. Yep. It's a 25 let's let's drop uh, Vader's uh, base down to 25. You know what it does. Um, for those who don't know at home, would you like to inform everybody what the base does? Yeah, it's an epic action. Uh, I can play, you know, that costs six or less from my hand, paying its cost to give it ambush. So that can be really nice to be able to play a unit and then immediately attack one of Talia's units without having him a chance to vanquish it or take it down or shields up shields or yeah towers lots of answers so so yeah it'd be really nice to be able to do that since i feel i'm more the aggressor the five less health probably won't matter i feel like i have to probably win the game before you can you know take control so to have that epic action can be a real boon sounds great all right new plan attack base cool <laughs> yeah watch yeah just my words E yeah. <laughs> exploit that five health. When when my opponent starts with five health less than me, you gotta exploit it. Yep. It's okay. In that last game, I wasn't gonna be doing that. No. Nope. Uh, this hand's a keeper, though, as we see, since I already resourced. Mine is nice. 
So that's why you play games. Sometimes you never know. Just the draws can vary quite a bit and yeah, make yeah. each game very interesting. And Sometimes you have no units except for the Yoda that you already haven't played. Yeah. So now I really wish I didn't attack Yoda that time. <laughs> oh man, I would have been so mad. That would have been really good. I would have just been like, great, I can do nothing today. All right, hopefully you get a decent draw here. Bright Hope getting back Yoda is a lot of card advantage. That, is, that was nice. Oh yeah, I can show. Uh, to answer your question, Boba Fett constructed gameplay at some point? Uh, I'll say absolutely. Uh, I don't think that spoils anything. You, you will see Boba Fett constructed gameplay at some point. Not today, but yeah, it'll I mean, happen. Yeah, we're, we will be playing with... We'll be playing a lot of games of this game. Yeah, yeah, you starting will see... Starting very soon. Starting now. We'll be playing <laughs> yeah, a lot of now. games of this game in the, for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Uh, you want to look away quick? I can show my hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No Ooh, cheating. okay. All right, go for it, Tyler. Great. Uh, same. Did no. you show your hand already? New bat time, new bat channel. C3PO says, uh, so here I'm going to do a thing that I sometimes do with cards like this, which is I'm not going to try to guess what the, most import, what the most common number is. I'm going to try to guess the number that I want to be on top because I want a specific card with a specific cost, and I'm going to say three, and I'm going to miss. We'll take the initiative. Yes. Yep. And for those who are just tuning in and everything, we just want to make mention again that the base that we're playing with, we are um, using the base. It, it is not the real base out there. We're playing with the 25 health with ability, uh, epic action one that Jeremy just went over for us that grants ambush. When it happens, we'll all know. Yeah, we'll all know, and it'll be a big moment. We can put we'll a little celebrate. X on it. Yeah. That when it gets know. used. Yeah. Um, to answer questions, what's the next stream about? Uh, you will be finding out soon. Can't say what it is yet. We uh, make that announcement at the beginning of the month. So, oh, yeah. Um, uh, I guess it's not the beginning quick... of the month yet, is it? No, it's not. We got a couple days. Uh, Jeremy and Tyler will be back, though, is what I'll say. So Yeah. Let's do it. There you go. Uh, Wing Leader is here to make buff 3PO. All right, buff 3PO. I tried to draw it, and I, wh and I whiffed, but then I drew it. I had it anyway. Um, I see you, short trooper. You will never live to six resources. Um, for garbage rollers, we will be doing uh, reveals still in December. So yeah, there will be no slowdown of card reveals going uh, until we reveal them all, basically. So be on the lookout for more uh, each week. Same, same, same pace. So I mean, it'll ramp up a little bit. Yeah, right, as we get closer up. and closer. Yeah, you know, it's got to keep things interesting too. What if we slowed it down? That would, keep, we, things, that that would, would keep, things, yeah. keep things interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, I can't trust anything that comes out of Tyler's mouth. <laughs> yeah, t Tyler just says things and then I do them because it seems fun. <laughs> well, I don't have any ramp, unfortunately. Yes, I got him. have turn two ramp. But no, turn Morgan's four Vader. Didn't Ugh. get it, so. Turn five Vader? I'll do maybe some a little unorthodox here. <gasps> Oh, let's we'll see what happens. He found a lightsaber. Vader's lightsaber of all things. Ooh, that's awkward. Uh, that's a that's a five four. It is. My three six looks real bad against that five four. I'm gonna attack your base for three damage, and we're gonna name one. Okay. I'll no smash, RPG, you top of my smash your base for five. Yeah. Smash my base for five. We'll take the initiative. Go short trooper. Yeah. He'll shoot down your wing leader on your base. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. And pass. This wing leader does good work, but not against Vader. All right, I don't want you. I don't want you. Oh, you know what I should do? What's that? Um, I should put these in the order that I resource them. Oh, that way we can talk so about So then later? at the yeah. end of the game, we can all be like, this was the f these were the first two, and then this, and then this, and then so this. So like last game, these were the first mistakes that were made on the resourcing <laughs> side. It's always, with the, yeah. it's always with the resourcing. Uh, it's, yeah. All right, well, these cards will all survive a Vader, so. Mm. Unlike the swing leader who did not survive a Vader. Mm. Is that? 
insane. Is that a remember, ridiculous yeah. idea? We'll find out. I don't know. What to resource? Well, on top of the decisions of games, so I want to resource each round. Also very fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I love getting to, to uh, feel like I'm resourcing with a strategy in mind. It's not just this is the most expensive card or this is the weakest card. Mm -hmm. It's like this is the card that I won't need because I have a specific plan for every other card in my hand. Yeah. And it's very fun to look back afterwards. Like last time where you go, oh, wow, this could have completely changed the game if I resource this instead of this. Or, oh, wow, that would have been not much worse if I had kept it. I'm glad that I had a good game plan or a bad game plan. So you have a takedown? Probably do. Vader's a 5-8? Yeah. I think my plan is, is ridiculous, and we're going to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Shut it down there. Let's boy, what do I want to resource here? Gotta make the call. Oh, yeah. Unless you don't want three. You don't have to have him. No, 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 no. Yeah. He's very important for my strategy. <laughs> um, Luke Skywalker is going to do a drop kick on your guy. All right. Take down. Defeat a unit with five or less remaining HP. Four is five or less. Four? It happens he had to be four health. very close, yeah. He had four health. I was going to defeat him with 3PO, but then there was a lightsaber involved. Yeah, that's. that gets to be an issue. I have a new plan for 3PO. It's much wilder. <laughs> big, big plans for 3PO. I got big plans for 3PO. Yeah, my wrist didn't pay off. I probably should have. I got big plans for 3PO. <laughs> 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 um. uh, yes, you can take official notes during an official game. Official notes. You can take, you notes. take notes during an official game, yes. If you take notes, they're official. If yeah, I yeah. take notes, they're not yeah, official. Yeah, my <laughs> notes are official over here. I, I'm just studying right now. This is <laughs> yeah, really. what the streams are for for me, so I can even get better. Yeah, it's not going to our wants at all. Just Ooh, awkward. Open space. Um, I'm going to attack your base for three. Uh, we're going to say we really want more takedowns, so I'm going to say four. Not a takedown. Oh, man, have you hit not that? Not even a four drop. Have you hit that yet? No, you want to know how many times <laughs> I've been okay, like, I if I said sure. two, I would get it right. <laughs> Take but I'm shirt. but I'm not gonna say new. I'm not gonna say two. I'm gonna say three, and then it's a two every time. Uh, great, we're done. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I can't oh. do that. I can't do that as much as I want to do that. As ridiculous as that would be. Um, the stream. The chat asked if you can show the top card too from now on when you show it to yourself. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Um, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. This was this was my this was my four guess. And I think this was my three guess. Both wrong, but that's okay. I don't remember what my guess before that was. That's right. It was also three, and it was also a two drop, but I don't remember which two drop. Uh, still no ramp. Oh, man. It's going to be a very different game. Yeah, it turns out when Vader shows up two turns early. <laughs> yeah, when the game is over two <laughs> turns earlier. Five resources each, because no one's found any ramp. We're in for three. Waste. Getting in for three. Boop, Dropping boop, health boop. Down to 21 on that side. Uh, 
Attack your base, naming four. We still want takedowns. Not a four. Not a four. All right. Just in time. Got him. Just in time. All right, now it's time to show off my super secret spicy tech. You ready? Yeah. We're putting C-3PO in a trench. Oh, entrenched. <laughs> So what's Entrench do for those at home that haven't seen it? Plus three, plus three, but he can't attack bases ever. Uh, so here's a 6-9 C-3PO. That's a big. That's bigger than Vader. Yeah. That's bigger than Vader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just isn't going to hit bases. He just can so never just, attack bases yeah. ever until the Entrench goes away, which probably mm -hmm. won't happen. Yeah. But that's cell block guard. That cell block guard's living a, yeah. living a borrowed life. <laughs> borrowed time right now. Cell block guard's just hanging out. Uh, yeah, that's a massive C-3PO. Um, but as you may have noticed, no one is playing any cunning today, so no bouncing the card to get rid of entrenched. <sighs> yep, everyone's feeling good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, C-3PO's going to be a problem. How big is he? Three nine. Sorry, six, six nine. Six nine. Four, Jeez. five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Yeah. Um. Here comes the Vader ping. Ooh, got a good question from the chat as you make your decision. So in most yeah. games, ramping resources give, just gives you more opportunity to play bigger slash more units. Uh, but in Star Wars Unlimited, you also get a free powerful leader unit faster. How do you balance that? Uh, you make the, the ramp more expensive, <laughs> is the, the short answer. It's expensive, okay. Uh, and, and, yeah. Um, the, the almost the more honest answer is uh, this is adding up to 10, so we're going to put a 10 on. Um, the more honest answer, honestly, is... Uh, is that there's just less of it in the card pool um, okay. than, than perhaps other games do. Or we find other ways to do ramp-like effects without just literally getting more resources. That's uh, fair. There's an ARC-170. Mm -hmm. Take this ARC-170 has a shield. All right, let's draw this guy. And this guy. All right, all right. One of these has to be a resource. No, no, I'm not that ridiculous. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. We could really double down. We could really double down. I. We could. We could really double down. I'm not gonna. I'm not should gonna you? It. No. Like it's tempting. But it would be kind of cool. <laughs> Vader, Vader dealing one damage is kind of a problem for it, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, but hear me out. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, wait. I have the I have the life advantage. I just realized. You do. But I have C3PO, which means I can't attack bases. The Arc 170 is going to trade with the interceptor. Again, which isn't attacking base. Mm -hmm. So I do need to be concerned about the game ending and me losing. <laughs> I feel like that's something you should always be concerned about at some point. In yeah, 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 <laughs> but it means that, like, can I afford to just, like, ignore all my cheat cards and say, like, eh, we'll get to the late game. We won't get to the late game, necessarily. Yeah. I think that I can't be greedy. I can't, can't be greedy. I can't do the fun thing. I have to do the responsible thing. Hmm. Start us off. Playtesting set one, did you find yourself ever wanting to use 30 uh, HP bases after you designed the 25 HP rare bases? 
Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was almost a yeah. point of design. Like, area decks can be very quick, so sometimes you really want that extra five health. Other matchups, you definitely want the additional ability by giving up to five health. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the bases with the applications, yeah, they're all quite good. Some are very powerful. But I think some matchups, yeah, it's just that five extra health can be very key. So, but yeah, I think they're hopefully both will see play. I think that more of the application bases will see play since, yeah, they're really powerful. But I think there's still a place for 30 health bases. For sure. Control decks, I want to play a long game just to survive against those Aegro decks. Five health can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. And we were specifically designing them under the, with the goal of that the 30 health bases and the 25 health bases would be at about the same power level. That it would be a meaningful choice and not just a strict upgrade from common to rare. Yeah. At least for some decks. Some decks is pretty obvious. Some decks is pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Luke can come out this round. Yeah, this is a very different Wait, game from last game. Did you resource? Oh, no, no. You just didn't ramp. Oh, yeah, just didn't ramp. Yeah, that's why it's very different. It's I've decided hmm. that the way I'm going to win this game mm -hmm. is by not l allowing Jeremy to participate in the ground arena. <laughs> Ooh. 3PO is going to do a good job. At 3PO and Luke are going to yeah. team up. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, Jeremy's turn for this asking. Well, this might not be a better time to do this. Gladiator Star Destroyer. Uh, you have a decent amount of space here, but... Another Interceptor. <laughs> I would love that. Just to know. Well, <laughs> yeah, right? Got shield, but... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and use my base just to... Oh, use your base. Knock off that shield. Knock off that shield. Right, yeah, we could put that on there. Uh, who has Sentinel? Star Destroyer. Boo! We don't like that. And then I take. And then. Yes. Yep. Because of ambush. Um, I'm going to pay three resources. And I'm going to play another wing leader. And C3BO is going to get bigger. <laughs> like I said. You did it. You don't get to participate in the ground arena. Check your base. You got it. Uh, I defeat you. And when I defeat you, I say four. And really, come on. Come on, deck. Nope. Flip it up for the, oh, yeah. for the people at home. Take Not three. what we want. I'm going to flip these. I'm going to put all the plus one, plus ones on the upgrade, since they're all also technically upgrades. Attack your base. For three? Yep. Uh, yes. Two plus three is five. Um, well, wait, I can do it. Uh, first, here is another Arc 170. Love it. In this game, the battle will be decided, decided by the space arena. <laughs> I'll take an issue. Great. Uh, Luke's going to put a shield on this wing leader. Um, and then I'm going to deploy Luke. And then Luke's going to attack your base for four. And when he attacks, he's going to give a shield to this Arc 170. And then this Arc 170 is going to sacrifice the shield to deal two damage to your Sentinel over there. And that will be the end of my turn. And now that I have, oh, bad draws. This is the least important card, but the other one is also not very good. Ugh. Turn them all up. And this is where we get to see the early deploy do its job. There you go. Not the last earlier game. deploy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or last game. Yeah, that was rough. But now Vader um, will be answering. So now Vader gets to show up. But C-3PO can one-shot Vader. That's the secret. That is true. Um, I specifically was like, you know, one way to deal with Vader is just to have an eight-power unit on the ground that I can attack with. Yeah. 
And he won't even die. He's got 11 health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. That's absurd. C-3PO, swole. Swole. Um, I, I decided that if Jeremy isn't playing yellow, uh, and I have reason to believe that Jeremy isn't playing something like a Mandalorian Fang Fighter that can delete upgrades, mm -hmm. uh, it's probably safe to just go all in on one unit. Yeah. And then Luke can give 3PO a shield before 3PO attacks Vader. It'll all be great. Everybody works together like a team. Uh, yeah, so that looking good for me. Start us off. Oh, start, uh, oh, star destroyer. Drugs. There it is. Oh, nice. That's the swing. That's the swing we needed. Deal seven? Yep. Ooh, this is an uh, interesting question, actually. Where do you put the seven damage? Yeah. Because you could just kill Luke. You could. Or you could kill two Arc 170s. It seems That's more true. enticing to I mean, and ping off the shield. Game, right? My hope is yeah. me winning through space, so. Blam! Knock those two off. And the shield? Sure. Presumably. All right, well, that's some overwhelming firepower if ever I saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to... Uh, do I take 10 here? I can't take 10 here. We'll trade with the Interceptor. Take for seven. There's seven. Um, somebody asked from last round if you should have restored one from your base with the Arc-170. I should have restored one from my yes. base. Yes. Good uh, call, chat. Looks five, like, six, uh, unplayable. seven. Uh, that's... I'm at 8 health. Good thing I have a Jedi. Uh, since a friendly unit died, actually three friendly units died, that unit's going to get minus 6, minus 6. And he'll be defeated. Yeah, that's pretty much game right there. Yep. Because now, if I have to deal 12... Three Luke hits gets you. And C-3PO just sits here and guards against Vader. Yep. How much health does C-3PO have? Uh, 11 yeah. minus 4 is 7. Yeah, this looks not good for me now. Maybe he does a Vader ping, and then another Vader ping, and then deploys Vader, so when I attack Vader, I die. Yeah. Joke's on him, I'll have a third wing later. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all my little plus one plus ones. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is... This is Luke Skywalker mastering all of his aspects. All of his sides. Specifically, specifically a lot of vigilance. And, specifically you know, episode five and episode six. Yeah. <laughs> Force choke that Luke. Force choke Ooh. that Luke. Luke, five damage and I draw a card. Um, I will attack your base for four damage and when I attack your base for four damage we will put a shield on C-3PO. Alright, taking the shield. That's all I got. Draw two first. Ooh, feels bad, man. <laughs> uh, feels bad for Jeremy. Oh. Yeah, this is not going well. This time I'm the one with the eight drops. Oh, nice. okay. I'm going to nice show you play. this thing that I can't do anymore. Like a matter. I had Luke's lightsaber to fully heal and shield Luke. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> Instead, he dead. Uh, well, you have one more turn. I'll attack your base for four and put another shield on C-3PO. This is the single strongest C-3PO I have ever seen in I'm, my life. Like, literally, yeah. I have played many games of Star Wars Unlimited. Yeah. I've never seen a C-3PO with this many upgrades on him. First time for everything. Right? There is a first time for yeah. everything. 
And the chat gets to see it, which is even better. Sometimes Go Tall gets you there. Yeah. Keeps Vader at bay. Uh, so there was, a, um, there was a card we previewed recently called <clears throat> Bamboozle. Mm -hmm. This is what Bamboozle's for. Yeah. Bamboozle is for we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upgrades on a single unit. Yeah. And you're just like, ah, get rid of all of them. Yeah, get rid of them. Um, Don't worry about it. And it matters a lot because uh, a Waylay, for instance, or a Vanquish could get rid of C3PO. Mm -hmm. But if all of those seven upgrades were on Luke Skywalker, the leader, mm -hmm. then neither Vanquish nor Waylay would work. Yeah. Uh, so that's why Bamboozle can, is designed to hit, be able to hit leaders and knock all those upgrades off. For if I were to put, say, three lightsabers on Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Which, like, yeah. has happened. Yeah, three lightsaber Luke, there you go. Oh, yeah, guess who's gonna save the day? Ooh. Marty. Yeah! Uh, before I do anything with R C3PO, I want R2D2 to, to tell me what's on top of my deck. Great, excellent. Do a ping? Yeah. It's not going to matter for Naga Shield Off. Naga Shield Off, great. That's for the top of Tyler's deck. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's coming. Uh, we're going to attack Admiral Mahdi a lot for a lot of damage. We're going to say two, and we're going to show off this It Binds All Things that's on top of my deck. Take and we're going to draw it. Well, actually, he's attacked, right? So I could... He's attacked. You can play Vader. Yeah. Now I'll play the It Binds All Things I just drew to move three damage onto Vader. Enjoy. Oh, I don't have a shield because of Mahdi. Yep. Uh, oh, shoot. I'm at eight health. Vader attacks for five? Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> now, if I wasn't being cute, I'd just take the initiative and win. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, you're, I you're, love being you're, cute. <laughs> you're trying to be cute. Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. Too well, too late. So you get you down to two left. Try to knock out loop it. Well, how many cards have been? One, two. two. Well, if I have any chance of winning, it's probably not going to loop out. Luke is defeated. You take four and are left with one health. Uh, I will s I will not seize the initiative. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Interesting. Um, I think... Just like in Return of the Jedi. Tyler is at seven health. Yep. Okay, good. Great. Got that. Uh, just like, just like uh, in Return of the Jedi, R2-D2 has Luke's lightsaber. <laughs> there you go. He's now a 4-5. Take initiative. Yep. If I lose to being cute, <laughs> Pretty on brand, though. Yeah. If we're going to be honest. Yeah. That's R2D2 so is battery. lethal, though. He is lethal. And I know. Almost perfect, right? Yeah. Four, four. Yep. And I know that Darth Vader doesn't have uh, access to Surprise Strike. That's true. So. All these cunning cards you just don't have to worry about. All these cunning nice. cards <laughs> I just don't have to worry about. How much else does C3BO have left? Ten. Jeez. Well, I healed him. So. Yeah, that'll do it. Well, you didn't. Yeah, you healed yeah. it. You just pushed it. So I just Vader. pushed it over yeah. on the Vader. Yeah. <laughs> he said, here's some wounds for you. Yeah. Listen, the Force binds all things. And when I say binds, I mean, it, I mean that my harm is also your harm. <laughs> we share harm here. Yes. And by share, I mean you take mine off yeah, of me. Yeah, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two is a four or five. Yeah. See that? This lightsaber is a lightning rod. Vader has to attack R2. Yep. And then die to a droid. 
<laughs> With a lightsaber. Yeah, hey, he is, yeah, he's wielding Luke's lightsaber, which is pretty cool. Um, I covered up the text box because it doesn't matter. Yeah, and he can't open fire you or anything because of that plus one, so. Yeah. It's... Can force choke, though. Can force choke, yeah. Turns out droids need to breathe. Uh, don't we all? <laughs> True. Fortunately, I got a backup plan mm. if that happens. I'm ready. It's uh, the same backup plan as the last game. Oh, nice. Sorry, it's plan A, not plan, and not backup. No, backup plan. <laughs> Man, I would love to draw one of my home ones right now. Mm -hmm. Well, this game's more interesting. I was gonna just had no chance before. It's only have much of a chance, but at least it's more interesting. Yeah. The game's not over yet. It's I'm still pretty favored to win, but it's yeah, not over yet. Highly favored, but uh, see, so yeah, I get you down to two left, but then how do we get the additional two in? It's not gonna be easy. I'm assuming there's a force choke in that hand. One more. All right, chat. Who do you think has this? Who do, Palpatine. Who do you think wins? Palpatine's yeah. happening. No, Palpatine. that's what's happening. Oh. I can count to eight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the number. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had him, but. Oh. Nowhere yes. to be found. That's why, yeah, you gotta play the game, just never know. But mm -hmm. Draws can vary tremendously. You gotta. You gotta Adjust your strategy best in your draws. Remember earlier when Jeremy just played a four cost three two in space with no additional text because he just needed bodies on the board and that was enough of a threat that I had to answer it? Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you just kind of make do with your yeah. in, inefficient draws. Mm -hmm. Always one shorts. That's what I love to hear. I love to hear when my opponent doesn't have all the, all the resources they need. So often that's me. <laughs> I'm over here being like, I can else. count to nine and somehow that's not enough. Yeah. Overall, my firepower. Great. Just knock over two. And deal two, two to three PO. Um, great. Uh, you don't get to kill me because I'm gonna drop kick you. This is the game we're gonna play now. <laughs> Jeremy's gonna take the initiative, and I'm gonna pass. Oh no. Yeah. Yep. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, who's got it? I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna keep them both. One of these cards is not very good, but honestly, a card in my hand is better than a resource at this point. Yeah, and I can much here. It's... Who's gonna draw their eight drop first? Yeah. <laughs> not me. I got good news for you. It's not me either. I got these. Well, if you just, you know, attack with 3PO and guess 8. Hey, there's an idea. <laughs> hey, I need something to attack, though, because yeah. I can't attack yeah, the base. Yeah, you can't base, so you got to wait. <laughs> 10 remaining, or just now it's, it's 8 remaining health. Uh, I have 7 health. Oh, oh three, C3. uh, C-3PO has 8 remaining health, yes. This is my first turn play. He's still alive. That's absurd. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have gone for the base and try to finish off with Vader, but it's all restoring a deck. I thought you'd get something out. Reasonable. Here's a 3-3. Three, three. Now, this is the part of the game where we just play a bunch of like cheap early game bodies. Yep. And it's like where they just trade off until one of us gets something that's slightly bigger. Mm-hmm. Two cards in hand. Two cards. Seven Take money. This. I could play a whole Luke with that. Unfortunately, he's dead. He's yeah. over here in my discard pile. That's not where I want him to be. Yeah, we went back and forth on this Luke Skywalker a lot. Yeah. Because we wanted him to be really strong. Uh, and we wanted him to be a card that people played at in competition. But also, he's a 7-drop, so he's got to be, like, really good. Yeah. And so, I mean, you did defeat a Gladiator Star Destroyer. He did he show up, up and say, get out of here, Star Destroyer. I'm a Jedi. Didn't you know that? <laughs> 
Did you know that I'm a Jedi? Were you locked in on having him be a seven cost then? You were like, this is this is what the cost of Luke Skywalker needs to be for this? Um, not strictly, but mostly, yeah. It was, it would have been really strange for Luke Skywalker not to be the, the biggest and most Im- by himself impactful card mm-hmm. uh, in his category, okay. right? Like it would have been weird if say, Kanan Jarrus was bigger than Luke, yeah. right? That would have been weird. Um, Ooh, sublock card. Well, honestly, I think C three PO is still worth it. Vanquish, takedown, drop kick him. All removal. That's all three takedowns. That if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> makes you feel worse. <laughs> all three yeah. of them. All three of them. Yeah, yeah. Here's Vader doing a ping. Uh, yeah, this is not going to go over well. The secret is if he pings me seven times, I lose. Probably should have attacked the Vader and tried to uh, shield me to death, but mm-hmm. if you're with Elder Store, you get something in the meantime. We'll take initiative. Here's R2D2, and he's going to put this top card of my deck. Is that worth it? Honestly, yeah, I think it is. Uh, draw two, keep them both. Nice. I'm not even gonna look at what they are. I don't need 10 resources. <laughs> I guess if one of them was a resupply. Yeah. Then it's like Something that just had not worth, this point, not yeah. worth playing, yeah. All right, we got lethal on board again. What you thinking? What are you, what are you, I what are you feeling? I lose. You lose? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not as good of a thought, I guess. Just dragging the gamble for no reason now. Um, so got four. Yeah, I don't think he can defeat the Marine, which means he's actually a one, which means he needs to defeat R2, yep. which is questionable at this point. Need an open fire or? Or a sublock guard, maybe? Sub, yep. But sublock guard, you could 3PO into the sublock guard, right? See, that's the thing. Any yeah. body, yeah. 3PO just deals with first. Yep. Ooh, we got a slow play warning from the chat. <laughs> There's no, no competition here. No. Just a casual game. Just a casual game of patricide. <laughs> oh, no. Luke's coming for dad. Darth dad. Darth. A spaceship. Go to one. Um, yeah. Is that game over? Yeah. Yeah. Game. I got my two restore units this time. Oh, nice. All right. Well, good game. We uh, do have to call it there, unfortunately. There will be no game three. Uh, we were lucky enough to get a game two in, though. Uh, any final thoughts about that game before we wrap things up today? This was the series. Draws are very important. <laughs> Draws, Draws are, are very important. important. Hey, there you go. Draws and resourcing no, for the first game. So. No ramp there really made a difference for me. Like, Vader's kind of too late, and, and having four takedowns, yeah, that's... Yeah, three takedowns and a 3PO, and then it binds all things. Adds up quick. This 3PO overperformed a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Despite only drawing one card. Yeah, he did his job otherwise, though. Yeah, I was hoping to win through space, but once you knocked out my gladiator starter store, like, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much game over. It's... I uh, made it interesting at the end there a little bit with Luke Vader had a chance to come out and do something and yeah, probably should have gone for the base and try to do Vader ping and yeah, hopefully get restore. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, your deck is full of restore, so if you, you can at least one restore unit, but that's probably the best option, but might not have made a difference anyway. I don't know, it's hard to, hard to save. It, it might have been, it probably would have in this game because I didn't draw the restore, um, but obviously my deck has enough restore that playing around it is a reasonable thing to do. Mm-hmm. Great. I could, yeah, I could draw lots of upgrades late in the game there, not enough units. Yeah, so that, just, that was rough. Get enough units out there, but I could draw a bunch of lightsabers. And don't do much good if you don't have units in play. Yep, for sure. 
All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, before we leave, we have a couple of last things we wanted to mention, which is that this weekend, uh, the three of us will be at PAX Unplugged, along with Yay. Josh and our event manager, Taylor. Uh, so if you're heading to PAX Unplugged, you can find us in Hall C. Uh, these two will be signing autographs, I believe, right? Signing cards. And right. Yeah, the, the event exclusive promos that we were playing with today, the Vader and Luke. Come get, uh, your, come get your hyperspace Luke. Yeah, so come play a demo, get your cards, and then get them signed by two great designers here and chat with them. They'll answer all your questions. Not all of them, but they'll answer some <laughs> questions you might have. The ones I'm approved yeah, to answer. Yeah, the ones they're approved to answer. Hopefully no more than that. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you all there. It's going to be a great weekend in Philly, so be sure to stop by. Uh, we also will be having our uh, event list going live on the website very soon. So if you are someone who's looking to travel to meet us at another event, get your first chance to play Star Wars Unlimited in person, uh, be on the lookout for that list on our website very soon. Uh, so uh, besides that, great games, you two, and uh, yeah. we'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining us today.